I'm going to show you how to mount a, a switch right uh, servo machine um, underneath a turnout here. I've got a, a fast tracks turnout that I built and I'm going to take the servo machine here and hook it up. I put on the double sticky tape which will hold it in place until I can get the mounting screws in. And I've also hooked it up to the power. I'm using this cord here to power it with 5 volts. And I've got the fascia controller hooked up to it. So as you can see it'll run if I push the button. So what I want to do is center the servo. So there's a jumper here and I just put that in there and it will put, put the jumper on and it centers the servo and centers the wire here. Now you'll notice if you look at it from here you notice the wire sweeps back. Now you might think that that's not right because what you want is the wires go straight up and down. However, you need that to provide an over the center spring. When I put that into the servo, I'm going to push on that wire like that. So it has a spring. And what that does is that makes it so the servo wants to go to one side or to the other side. And that allows the servo power to be turned off after it swings from one side to the other holding the points in place. So this spring is what's going to help hold the points in place as well as the fact that the servo has some resistance to turning. So I'm going to put that in there. Now the hard part of mounting is always getting the wire into that little hole. And usually you have to do this from under the table and you don't really have the uh, luxury of, there I got it through the hole. You don't usually have the luxury of um, being able to look from both sides. Okay, so now I put that up. Okay, I'm going to remove my backing from my double sticky tape so that it'll be ready to go here. Alright, now... As I put that in, I want to make sure that when the points are centered, you might hold them in place with a little bit of scotch tape. And as I put the machine in, I want to push on that spring so they go straight up and down like that, and then, and then attach the tape. Okay, now that I've got the uh, switch machine in place and being held by the tape. Temporarily I'm going to take this centering jumper off and so you see the servo moves over to one side and you can verify that the uh, servo moves in, up against the points. Okay, so that's what we want. Now all we got to do is put the screws into the holes and um, Hold it place permanently and we're ready to go.